big part of your life, I'm just guessing, is people coming up to you and pitching ideas for song parodies. That's gotta be a big part of your life. Um, only when I go outside. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> my wife and daughter know, they, they've heard all the, I've heard right. all the pictures and they know. Um, yeah, I mean, every, every bad idea you can possibly think of, uh, you know, well, why don't you do a parody of Thriller about Phyllis Diller? Like, that's very timely, you yeah. know, that'd be good. This audience doesn't even know who Phyllis Diller is. Yeah. And that's suggestion was from last week, so that's how behind yeah. the times they are. Yeah, but so when you get, are you polite to them in that moment? You just probably act like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll get right to work on that. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't do that, I say that blows. <laughs> and then, that's why you're not beloved. I know, and then I have two people with me that beat the shit out of them. <laughs> And I watch. Uh, <laughs> but you are, yeah, as I said, and you just repeated, you are beloved. Uh, <laughs> and you must get, I'm guessing throughout your career, you get a ton of fan mail. I know fan yeah. mail now is an old concept right. because everyone uses the internet, but back in the 80s, 90s, you must get a ton of fan mail. Yeah, you know, um, I, I'm a recovering hoarder, and uh, I, I never threw away a single. <laughs> Clearly, you're getting yes. rid of stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you had an orgy with a yeah. crayon box. Yeah. I, I say. <laughs> I saved every single fan letter I ever got because, you know, they're love letters, and how can you throw that away, you know? Right. Uh, but when I got married, my wife realized I had literally dozens and dozens of beacon boxes full of fan mail from the 80s in a storage unit, and she was like, you've got a full life now, you've got a family, you're not going to be seven, year old, seven years old reading your old fan mail, like, somebody used to love me, you know? Right, That's right. not going to happen, so, right. so sadly I had to, like, Kiss all the letters goodbye and, and let them go. You, you, did you actually get rid of them, all those fan letters? I, I, I would have dropped them for your house if I knew you wanted them. Sure, I just <laughs> write my name in over yours. <laughs> Dear Conan! And I would go, they love me! <laughs> uh, you know, I, Andy and I were talking in the commercial break, because uh, we're allowed to now, and... Uh, <laughs> But Andy, we, we were talking about, and Andy, you said you went to uh, one of uh, Al's I've seen Al in concert a number of a times. A number of times, and you said the thing that uh, it was that really took you by surprise was you said the show was excellent, but your, that Al's accordion playing is off the chart. It's fantastic. Yes. You, you really are yeah. an accomplished, it's not a gag, you are an accomplished accordion well, player. I know how to play. I'm sure there's like 13 year olds in Ukraine that play accordion better than me, but I, I do okay. Right. I do okay. Let's I not, don't let's think not that's mention true. Ukraine. Well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say Lithuania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, took, I took lessons when I was seven years old, and uh -huh. uh, my, my parents uh, decided, there was a famous accordion player named Frank Yankovic. No relation, but he was America's polka king. Uh, and my parents decided there should be at least one more accordion playing Yankovic in the world. Because you're, you're, your family reasoned that because you have the same last name as a famous accordion player, their child must play the accordion. That's it, yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's intense. And so you, you took it very seriously, you got good. I, yeah, yeah, I got okay with it. Did it, uh, a lot of people take up an instrument because they think it's going to attract uh, a partner that's going to attract the opposite sex. Did you find that to be the case with the accordion? Oh, well, so when I was a kid, uh, it didn't really apply. You were too young. Ladies. Yeah. Uh, and then when I was a top 40 recording artist, still not so much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the babe magnet that you think it would be. No, no, I, I'm glad you said that because I didn't think it would be a babe uh. magazine. <laughs> I just don't, there's, there's something about this, and I... Uh, the squeeze box. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. I do this sometimes in the subway, and women just back away, you know? <laughs> it never works for me.